Hey, what's up everyone? I just wanted to make a quick video telling you the most absurd thing that I heard on the radio yesterday. They were trying to discuss about, basically they were trying to, I suppose inconspicuously, discuss the Mandela effect, the ME phenomenon. And who knows how much he was either being paid to promote that anti-ME agenda or basically with the, uh, that no telling, how, there's no telling but basically, I think they were trying to get him to promote making us think it's false memories and attributing it to false memories in order to delegitimize the entire phenomenon that millions, maybe billions of us experience on a moment-to-moment -moment basis and have collectively experienced this, experienced this together. I mean, they're basically trying to... So I'll go ahead and get into what I heard on the radio yesterday. It's just like uh, I just heard it really quickly and it frustrated me. The uh, individual on the radio said, Hey, apparently, you know all those childhood memories you had? Apparently, they're wrong. He said, uh, All those memories you had as a child are wrong. He said, Apparently, many of us falsely remember something. And he said, We, have, we uh, share what's known as false memories. And he said, But through hearsay or hearing the wrong thing or something like that, basically, we have, uh, we have created these false memories and collectively somehow persuade each other to... Uh, remember these false memories based on what someone else is stating online or hearing someone else say it. They basically were trying to state that we're persuading each other and convincing each other that this is real, that, that our memories from childhood, and he said, so those childhood memories you had, think again. And they said, they were wrong. They never existed. And uh, he was basically just stating that everything that we are stating to each other we're just massively basically doing this mass hysteria situ situation and collectively persuading each other to remember these false memories that is bull that's complete bull he's trying to state that we he was trying to state and he did that on Nelson Mandela's birthday by the way I think to uh, as a um, probably hinting at the Mandela effect phenomenon he was uh, basically stating that all of all of us out here are collectively causing each other to have false memories and I don't buy that one bit you're not going to have millions of people like myself and you and many others out there making these videos I mean I made I, I have uh, it turned out I was making a video at the same time someone else was making a video or we were all making videos at the same time who had never met each other were making videos about the same exact thing at the same exact time and we'd never met each other but we were making these videos uploading them sharing our memories online saying something is wrong things are off and things are different and then oh okay someone else is experiencing this that's a whole different other thing. That's a whole different ball game, so to speak. When you have someone else who says, who walks up to you and says, "Hey, did you know that uh, I think so and so is uh, is wrong?" and you're like, "Wasn't it so and so?" and you're like, "Oh yeah, I think that could be." That's different than that can be like, "Oh okay, well maybe his car was blue or maybe his car was red or something like that." But that's a whole different other thing than someone like us making all of these videos before we ever met each other how can individuals individuals that never met each other making videos at the same time could not have persuaded each other to do this if we'd never met each other for example I was making a video about an ME that, or something that I thought was an ME I uploaded it and shared the experience turns out at the same time I was doing that other people were doing that that I had never even met to have even persuaded me in any sort of a way. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I mean, your other people out there, not what's ex being experienced, but the, what the radio was stating, what they were stating on the radio was the dumbest thing. Um, he was probably being promoted to promote that agenda, but anti-ME agenda. But all of us you're not going to have someone else who's making a video about the same exact thing that you are making a video about who never met each other people that I have never ever met turned out that I, w I go to make a video about something 
I search that topic and then wow okay I see someone else that has my memory that's not false memory that is not mass hysteria persuasion that's not someone else persuading me that's me remembering something and stating I wonder if someone else remembers it that way I search it find other people that share my memory collectively share my memory their collective consciousness out there they share the same memory as I do and then we find each other and we share these experiences that's not persuading each other that's just finding people who share the same exact memory of you memory as you do and uh, communicating and sharing your memories that's why we do these videos so there's a big difference in that and me saying oh I think so-and-so's car was blue right and you going okay yeah it might have been or wasn't their car red I don't know yeah remember he came to so he came to the house with a red car and then they'd say oh yeah okay that's a whole different other thing that can be attributed to false memory or someone persuading someone else you can persuade someone but not when you've never met them <laughs> I mean that's all I'm getting at is when you've never met someone and I go to say, okay, Berenstein Bears, Berenstein Bears, that doesn't look right. So I go to type it in. Wow, so many other people share my memory. I never met those people before I did that search. So obviously if I never met those people, they couldn't have persuaded my memory if I didn't even know they existed before I went to search my memory. You get what I'm saying? I'm sure you do that's my point if you've never met someone who shared the same memory as you did before you looked up the memory they couldn't have persuaded your memory in any way that's the craziest thing I've ever heard anyway that's all I have to say that's like stating for example uh, that's like stating when you're 100 percent sure on something and then uh, turns out someone made a video about it but yet I didn't know they did that's like saying someone I never met persuaded my memory before I ever seen their video that's impossible you can't persuade someone you can't persuade someone when they've never watched your video and then they find your video and you find out they shared your memory now that is a good thing so that is not mass hysteria and false memory persuasion but anyway I just <laughs> I had to rant about that, what I heard on the radio. They were trying to get everyone to think it's uh, that, you know, well, all your childhood memories are wrong, and you're just misremembering because of hearsay from someone else. No. That frustrates me when they say that, but I have a lot to discuss, a lot of things to talk about. There were several things that happened, several things that happened yesterday. So, just a quick rant, just some rambles, random rambles of mine about that can't be persuaded by someone you never met until uh, and then you go to look it up and you meet them and they share the same memory and you become friends because of that so I've gotten gained so many friends basically from all of these these crazy things we experience and share so anyway much love and peace I just had to share that let's hope and pray these storms do miss us and weaken I'm still hoping for that. I'm still hoping that they do not cause any damage and that they do just go around us. But anyway, I send all of you much love. These are my random rambles for now. Peace. Bye.